What's going on everybody, Donnie here with another video. Today there's been some huge news in the NHL with there being a 30 second team added into the league unanimously by the board. So what does this mean for the NHL in the long run? Let's talk about it. First, Seattle's had a professional ice hockey team before. The Seattle Metropolitans were founded in 1915 and folded in 1924, but not before winning the first Stanley Cup in 1917. The Metropolitans were founded in part by Frank and Lester Patrick, both of whom are considered some of the biggest contributors to early hockey and have both found themselves in the Hockey Hall of Fame. The Patrick family founded the Pacific Coast Hockey Association and developed numerous rules for the game of hockey in its infant stage, so the Metropolitans have a significant place in hockey history. With that being said, do we expect to see the Seattle franchise using the Metropolitan name again? I'd say it's probably fairly likely, but we've seen names from the Pilots to the Cascades to the Steelheads and everything in between. Chances are the name will be very synonymous with the territory, considering Seattle's general color scheme, geography, and history of the city. Now, onto how this affects the NHL. First things first, there's gotta be a new expansion draft in 2021 a few months before the NHL season begins. While I think it may be a bit too early to start doing the deep dive of potential players they could be drafting, chances are by 2021 that there may be another Vegas-esque group of players who get together and play better than expectations. After just one season, Vegas has stars in William Carlson, Jonathan Marcheseau, Marc-Andre Fleury, and has recently landed Max Pacioretty as well, not even considering future studs like Cody Glass and Eric Brandstrom still waiting to get up to the big club. My expectation is that this expansion will be slightly different than years prior, with teams more or less learning a lesson in their methodology. We've seen teams like the Panthers, Blue Jackets, and Penguins take a severe loss after losing star players who didn't have a tremendous amount of value before they left their old teams. Chances are we'll see more trading and less talent exposed to the draft, as well as there being a large potential for there to be less youth involved in the draft as well. My guess would be that Seattle's going to start out pretty weak, but will end up garnering more draft picks than Vegas did in return for the usual promise to not draft specific players that franchises may be willing to pay more to keep. My expectation is that the cap will be rising quite considerably by the 2021 season, potentially around $85 million or even a bit higher. This probably hurts Seattle in the long run with all these long-term contracts coming into fruition, but it also allows Seattle to go a bit more intensive in considering long-term deals. The report that came out yesterday spoke about how there would be a need for division realignment, and today, it's been announced that the Arizona Coyotes will be moving to the Central Division and that Seattle will be playing in the Pacific Division. I'm not entirely sure how this affects the league, but I guess that Arizona may have a tougher time breaking into the playoff chase in the Central with the Preds, Avs, Jets, Stars, Wild, Blackhawks, and Blues all being generally competitive in recent years. Meanwhile, this allows for Seattle to generate interesting rivalries with teams like Vancouver, who's a hop, skip, and a jump over the border, as well as with Vegas with the expansion rivalry there. All in all, I think Seattle being out of the league is great. Seattle is a fantastic sports city and deserves to have a basketball team as well, which will likely come pretty soon, I'd say. Thanks to everybody who watched this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to support me, and I'd really like to talk to you all soon with another video. Have a great rest of your day.